We're here in a cold, clear Appalachian stream. It's us, the Kraft Brothers. I'm Chris. I'm Martin. And this is exactly where you want to be when you're looking for the largest salamander in North America. The challenge is the rocks are slippery and the current's fast. Another challenge is this salamander is really well camouflaged. Martin, by your foot. Hellbender! Oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Now let's get a closer look at this hellbender. Whoa, wow. so slimy, all that mucus, right? Yeah. And flat, the body's so flat, so streamlined for life in these fast-moving rivers. And the tail is flat the other way, up and down, so that it can propel the salamander through the water. They can even swim upstream. And there are a lot of predators after these hellbenders, mink, blue heron, otters, so sometimes they gotta make a fast getaway. See how they have that really broad head? Well, the mouth runs all along that front part. So they have a big mouth that can open really wide. And that's for gulping crayfish. <laughs> and now against this background, you can really see the coloration, which give it the power of camouflage in the sandy, rocky river bottom. So salamanders are a really cool group of animals with over 800 species around the world the hellbender being one of the coolest salamanders of all. And they're related to another group of animals, the frogs and the toads. Yeah, salamanders, frogs, and toads, they're all amphibians. But what makes an amphibian an amphibian? Amphibians are a group of creatures that live on land and in the water. They're cold-blooded, and they need water and a moist environment to survive. And they can breathe through lungs, gills, or even their skin. And have a look at the sides of this hellbender's body. There are folds of skin there, and those help the salamander breathe. The more folds, the more oxygen they can take in. Since they breathe through their skin, it's so important that their watery habitat remains clean. Hey, we're here at an awesome hellbender stream with hellbender expert, Dr. Bill Hopkins, who has been studying these incredible salamanders for what, the past 17 years? Yeah, that's right. Wow. So what have you learned in that time? Like, what new things are you figuring out about hellbenders? I think one of the coolest things we've learned is that hellbender dads take care of their babies, and they take care of them for months. So we know now that dads hang out with their babies for like eight months, they protect them from big predators, and they make sure they're getting all the things like oxygen they need from the water. And the water, you mentioned the water, their habitat, these cold streams. What have you learned about their habitat? So hellbenders are in a lot of trouble. So that's one of the big discoveries is that their populations are crashing and they need really clean water, like the water you see here to survive. And when, even though they live underwater, they need trees. The trees are really, really important for keeping the water clean. Wow, so yeah. another reason it's so important to have healthy forests to protect hellbenders. Absolutely. We, we love, love hellbenders. And all kinds of salamanders. And now it's time for you to go living back free and in the wild. Keep on salamander streaming. We'll see you on the creature trail.